Hey, Andrew, let's give somebody a chance to win $100 in cash from the Hobica Law Firm. Caller 10. Let's do it. Uh, 736-0186. Caller 10 right now. 736-0186. Caller number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Oh, it's actually number 9. Uh, we'll take caller 10, though. Uh, good question here that's doable. Uh, it's totally doable, 100% doable. Uh, I told you about the, the quickly, a few things I'll squeeze in before we do this. Uh, uh, Bill Clinton out doing, uh, he's on the campaign for uh, for his lady, standing by his woman. Okay. And um, I didn't and, hear this this morning. I, uh, uh, listen, it is a gift that is being given to Republicans. This is a gift that has been given to Republicans for their next TV commercial. This is might even be better than Hillary barking like a dog. Did, now, did he give him a card, too? Because I found out over the weekend that my, my wife was upset I didn't give her a card. I got her a gift. But Bill Clinton was campaigning for Hillary Clinton in Spokane, Washington yesterday, and he took a shot at President Obama. Now, I don't really think he took a shot at Obama. You know he really he didn't. meant to say this. He did not mean to say this, but it's the way it came out. Listen to this. All right. Basically saying Obama is, um, is the awful legacy of the past eight years. Wow. Now, that's really not what he was saying. But you can't make that mistake. No. You know he's talking about the gridlock in Congress. You know he's talking about the, uh, the, the, all of what has happened in this ugly Washington that exists right now. Um, but you could easily say, no, he's talking about things like Ferguson. He's talking about the divide. He's talking about the fact that, uh, you know, the 2%, if you will, has actually uh, narrowed even more so. And that the common person struggles even more. Uh, you know that's going to be used again. I mean, that's a commercial. You just gave them a commercial. I sense a parody coming on. There might be. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, well, let's get this contest uh, out of the way because I don't want Anthony to have to wait around too long. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning. How are you? Were you on your way too, Anthony? On your way to work? Yes, sir. And you're in uh, you're in Rome right now. Yep. All right. Here's your question. Um, how old are you, by the way? Average age. How, how old are you? Thirty. Oh, uh, this might be a tough one for you. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, I've just turned 50-something, I think. I'm 50-ish. And um, <laughs> I, this, I remember this very well. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Here's your question. W, uh, WTVH, Channel 5 in Syracuse, aired a kids' television program, which went well into the 1980s. You should maybe remember this. It was called The Magic Toy Shop, and it featured a train called what? Ready, go. Yeah, um, into the 80s, I would have been in a bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you at least remember Romper Room? No, it's before my time. Do you remember Sesame Street? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, do you remember, do you remember Pokemon? Uh, no. Yeah, sorry, that was too young for you. Uh, the answer would be anybody on this one? Anybody? Nobody's going to even get that I'm, in here. I'm just going to guess and, and pro pro provide the example that you should at least throw something out there. So I'm going to say it's Frankie the Train. Uh, Mr. Trolley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen, Andrew will give you dinner for two. Hold on tight. All right. Yeah, Thank you, Anthony. Yeah. And in Rome, I saw the. See, it's interesting because in Rome, if you uh, if, when you watch TV in Rome, there's a good chance you're watching uh, you're watching Syracuse. Mm -hmm. uh, they get on their cable system. They have both Syracuse and Utica. Uh huh. So you a Is lot that of right? uh, oh it's a it's it, a lot of people in in they get in, both in Rome really associate themselves with, with Rome news, or with Syracuse news. Yeah. Um, uh, so they get both, where we do it with TVH, but not in Utica anymore, because now it's uh, KTV's simulcast. On. Anyway, the, uh, the program was called Mr. The Magic Toy Shop, and the character, who, by the way, interestingly, his name was Lou O'Donnell, and Lou O'Donnell owned the radio station. He was a part owner of the radio station, the first place I ever worked, WLFH in Little Falls, my first job in 1981. Really? Lou O'Donnell, Mr. Trolley was one of the uh, one of the owners. So this was a locally produced show as well. Oh, it, oh all I those didn't know shows. That. There was the Mr. Salty show that was on WTR. There was Bozo that was on WKTV. All these programs were Romper Room was a local version, I think, of of Romper Room. Is that um, Romper Room was romp, it was so how Romper Room worked is Romper Room had regional robber was regional so there was a maybe a romper room in la there was a romper room in new york there was a romper room and it was regional okay um uh captain kangaroo that wasn't local though right well a lot of those shows were local and that's really a thing of the past you yeah. don't have too many 
local children's. Remember when we used to wake up Saturday morning and there were cartoons? You know and- what has happened is the FCC has put so many mandates on children's programming, requirements that you have to do. Stations are afraid to even uh, get on that road. Mm-hmm. You're better off just grabbing somebody. But uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Trolley from the Magic Toy Shop, here's some audio. And, and his voice, well, I do hope you could enjoy the uh, fire that uh, Keeler guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was an owner of the radio station. So um, he, you, you know. were fired by Mr. No, Trolley? I wasn't. I, I wasn't. Okay. Uh, Andrew Dominio. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 with, when it comes to children's television, I think it's gotten to the point now where it's a little weird. It's a little strange. Yeah, like the... I mean, uh, the what you, is, you don't well, think that was a started, little strange? No, well, that was, but I'm talking about, like, there was the Teletubbies. Teletubbies were, like, was, crazy was weird. Odd, and yeah. they've got a new show on where everything else is, is kind of puppets, but there's uh, an adult male and a, a, a little girl, and it, I don't know what network how about the one on. with NBC, the big, How about the maybe? one with the big chair and the dog? Oh, with the talking, kid. Are you talking about Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues was weird. Yeah. Uh, well, Why what is about that the, weird? What about the guy that used to narrate? Remember the guy that would sit there Steve? in the big chair? Steve? Was that yeah, Blue's well, Clues? That was the original Steve. There was yeah. another guy. Didn't something happen out? there? Yeah. Something well, really weird was, went down there? No, Steve not really then, weird. He's a, well, arrested for smoking pot. Okay, all right. Well, it was Pee Wee Herman. This was Pee Wee Herman, though. Pee Wee Herman got a little weird. But to your... The Steve guy. This is back in the day when you could actually get arrested for smoking pot. Yeah, Nowadays, right. no, it's, it's not a big deal. Yeah, he'd be token on the big blue chair. <laughs> it did him in. I mean, it, he'd be seeing a green chair and a red chair. Actually, it was a normal sized chair. <laughs> he just right. thought it was huge. Wow, look at this huge chair. <laughs> I remember the righteous indignation that followed it's his so arrest. It's so funny. This chair is so funny. <laughs> look at this little blue dog. Oh, and his friend, the salt and pepper shaker. First of all, blue was a girl. Here's <laughs> Christine with an update. Um, uh, so what were those guys that ran around in the tight pants? They were dancing the around. The Wiggles. Yes, and Nagel had just helped me. Lazy Town is the name of the Lazy show. Lazy Town. NBC on Saturday morning, and it's the weirdest thing. Well, you know what Lazy Town is for is that uh, college kids uh, <laughs> do a little monkey business, and then they watch it, and it's really funny then. Here's uh, Christine, 750. <laughs>